Today I'm going to be taking a look at a very interesting home movie camera. Now this camera was manufactured in the 1950s. I've tried to find the exact year that this was first manufactured. I haven't been able to find the exact year. Every source I've found online has simply said the 50s. This is called the Sankyo 8R and it's a really awesome little home movie camera from back in the day. Uh, I was lucky to find this. Actually my friend uh, mailed this to me sometime back in the 90s and I've had it ever since. Now just so you know I've never actually used this camera uh, but I'll be talking more about that in a moment. But just to give a little rundown about the camera uh, it's completely made of die cast metal so the body is very very sturdy I'm sure you could run a tank over this thing and it wouldn't hurt it at all. It's got a three lens turret with reflex focusing. It's got a spring wind drive right there. So basically you wound it up like a wind up toy. It did not run on batteries or anything like that at all. And a lot of movie cameras back in that time operated like that. You, you basically wound up the camera and then shot your footage. Now some people have wondered, okay, well if it's wind up, does that mean when it gets down to the point where the wind is running out, does that affect the speed of the film? Not at all. Basically when it starts to wind down, the film will just stop completely and suddenly. It's been engineered so that the wind down, uh, when it starts to lose its wind, that does not affect the speed of the film. Now you've got your speed selection here, you've got your viewfinder over here, and also you have a little viewfinder here for you, you can use to focus your lenses. And speaking of lenses, there are three amazing lenses on the turret there. We have a 6.5 millimeter f 1.9 wide angle lens. We have a 38 millimeter f 1.4 close up lens. And we also have a 13 millimeter f 1.4 lens. Now off to the side here, we have a film counter. We have what looks like a mount for um, a hot shoe or some sort of accessory light. And we also have a film winder knob up here and also a button to open the door, which I'll show you in a few seconds. On the back there, we have the viewfinder. And also, there is a little connection for a shutter release. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like when we open it. Okay, so the interesting thing about this camera, it didn't run on Super 8, it didn't run on regular 8, it ran on a film called Double 8. And the spool is there, and you can see it's a small spool, but it's actually 16 millimeters wide. So basically the film that you put on it was 16 millimeter, but it was double perforated. And what was really interesting about double eight film, you would shoot one side of the film and then flip it over and shoot the opposite side of the film, which gave you two eight millimeter lengths from a 16 millimeter spool. You would send that off to be processed. They would split the 16 millimeter film down the middle and then they would develop it. And that was basically your two lengths of eight millimeter film, again called double eight. And you may be surprised to hear that they actually still manufacture and process double eight film. Uh, there are some companies in the States, I believe the Film Photography Project does that. I think they sell double uh, eight films and I think they may process them or they may be able to direct you to someone who processes them. Now I will tell you that uh, the film and the processing is not cheap. Any sort of motion picture film, even if it's just super eight or eight millimeter, to buy it and to develop it is not cheap. However, it's a lot of fun. Again, I've never actually shot with this camera, but uh, I'd like to someday. So I'd like to get my hands on some film and develop it and give this camera a try. Again, it's a beautiful camera. It's got that classic 1950s design. I love the turret with the multiple lenses. And again, you had your main viewfinder here and also a separate viewfinder just for getting the lens in focus. A really beautiful little home movie camera. Really sturdy, really hefty. 
So that's my look at the Sankyo 8R. Thank you for watching. Hope you can join us again next time. Please leave a comment, give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, please subscribe to the channel. I post new tech reviews every week. I post many reviews related to old home movie cameras, still cameras, video cameras. So if that's your thing, please subscribe. I, I'm really interested in vintage technology on this channel. So I hope you can join our family. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.